they were intended for the judge to read um, and not to undermine the testimony of the victims or re-traumatize them in any way. We would never want to do that. And we're sorry if that has taken place. Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis issuing an apology after writing letters in support of Danny Masterson ahead of his rape case sentencing. The couple shared a video to Instagram Saturday after facing high public criticism over the letters for their former That 70s Show co-star, in which they called him a quote, role model with exceptional character. Written in hopes of persuading the Los Angeles Superior Court judge to show mercy to the disgraced actor. We are aware of the pain that has been caused by the character letters that we wrote on behalf of Danny Masterson. A couple months ago, Danny's family reached out to us and they asked us to write character letters to represent the person that we knew for 25 years so that the judge could take that into full consideration relative to the sentencing. While they explain why they participated in written defense of Danny, Ashton and Mila go on to clarify their intentions behind it. The letters were not written to question the legitimacy of the judicial system or the validity of the jury's ruling. They were intended for the judge to read um, and not to undermine the testimony of the victims or re-traumatize them in any way. We would never want to do that. And we're sorry if that has taken place. The stars also make it a point to show their alliance with victims of abuse. We support victims. We have done this historically through our work and will continue to do so in the future. Our heart goes out to every single person who's ever been a victim of sexual assault, sexual abuse, or rape. Ashton and Mila weren't the only ones in Hollywood to step forward on behalf of Danny. Actors Deborah Jo Rupp and Kurt Wood Smith, who famously portrayed Kitty and Red Foreman on that 70s show, also wrote letters to the judge, along with Danny's longtime friend Giovanni Ribisi and William Baldwin, whose wife China Phillips is the sister of Danny's wife, Bijou Phillips. In May, Danny was convicted of two counts of forcible rape against two women, which happened at his Hollywood Hills home in the early 2000s. This was a long time coming, regardless of how long ago it happened. If these crimes were committed, there's a person responsible, he needs to be held accountable. And last week, the actor was ultimately sentenced to 30 years to life in prison. I've gotten to know the uh, victims in this case quite well over the years. And um, I can tell you they're strong. Um, they are, were committed to making sure that justice gets served. And today they got it. At the time, a spokesperson for the LA County Sheriff's Department told ET, Danny's been housed in a single man cell with safety checks conducted approximately every 30 minutes.